I know there was a lot of interest in our ARE bed cap that we have installed on our Nissan Titan. So I thought now after several months of having the bed cap on the truck, I'd give you a little bit of a review, my likes, my dislikes, and we'll go through the build lists and how much it actually costs. Now it's obvious to see that this is a little bit of a different style than a typical bed cap. This is ARE's Overland or Overlander style. It has bed liner essentially on the vulnerable edges. That's kind of a cool idea and it gives the truck a little bit of a contrast, but the real reason I did it is because I didn't trust that the paint matched white would actually match the white of the truck. And although the truck is new, it's a 2021, white is always tough to match, especially if there's a little bit of pearl or a little bit of a different look to it. And I think I'm actually glad I went this route because to me, I mean, from far away, it looks quite good. But to me, I can actually see the difference in here to the truck. It's dirty now, so it might not be that noticeable, but I can see a little bit of an extra blue in the topper color to me. Again, it doesn't look bad from here. You wouldn't necessarily know the difference, but if those colors were touching side by side with no black in between, I think the contrast would be a little bit too obvious and I think it would drive me crazy. A color match on other colors may be a little bit closer and work out a little bit better, but for me, I think this was the right decision. And it fits the white and black color combination anyway, so. It works out good. Now, I actually chose to have the tracks installed on top of the bed cap because we anticipate using a roof rack at one point or another. And I just thought I'd rather have it done up front and we'd be prepared for the day we actually got a roof rack. Again, I'll go over the pricing of this stuff toward the end so you have an idea of how much each of these things cost. I went with the aluminum frame slider windows with pet screen. So one of the main reasons for getting this bed cap installed in the first place is because we have dogs. We have a dog that's 105 pounds, pretty big, and a dog that's 20 pounds, and both of them can fit comfortably in the back of the truck. Rather than getting the cab all messed up and getting dog hair everywhere, uh, having a nice comfortable back end for them to uh, ride in from campsite to campsite, or just you know go on little trips here and there, uh, was perfect for us. So we knew that we'd need a sliding window uh, with the screen to get them a little bit of ventilation. Now I think the sliding window is more of a standard feature. The pet screen is a, is an upgrade and it's really not all that expensive. I can't remember the exact price, but we'll get into that. This would definitely be one of the features that I like the most. Uh, I will say though, looking back at it now, um, I wasn't all that familiar with bed caps when ordering this or when building it. I just really wanted to keep it as inexpensive as possible, uh, but be functional and practical at the same time. I wish I would have done frameless windows uh, because they really look slick, nice and clean. And uh, you don't have this frame, it just sort of looks like glass uh, across the side of the, of, of the topper. So uh, that would have been cool, but I don't really have any complaints uh, as far as this goes. It, it looks decent and they work how, we're, how we wanted them to work. Another more standard design would be this back glass or the, the back hatch in general. Uh, it's just got the single handle. You can get the dual locking on both sides for a, a, an additional cost. I didn't really think it necessary. One thing I'll say about the aluminum frame windows too that I don't like and just the cleanliness of the frameless is the seam. Uh, it's not, not something you can really get away from, but I don't know. It could just be a lot cleaner, but again, I don't have any problems with it. It's fine. They do what they they need to do and they look halfway decent. I'm going to tell you the one feature that I like the most about this bed cap, uh, but first there were a couple of quality issues that I think I pointed out in one of the original videos about this topper. Here they are again. So you can see on the frame for the back hatch here uh, how the frame goes below the black line of the bed liner. At first, I wasn't sure if the frame was lower on one side than the other, uh, but I think it actually, looking at it now, might be a combination of both issues. On this side, the frame is a little bit shorter, but also the bed liner doesn't go up as high. So I actually put some black vinyl in there to cover up the white. Otherwise, there's a little bit of gap there and that's kind of annoying. It's, I mean, what a, a quality thing that just got missed. I don't know, it was a little bit annoying. And the seam here on the frame the window is a little bit janky, a little bit rough. I just put some black touch-up paint in there to kind of cover up the metal showing through, but that was a little bit annoying too. You know, you spend so much money on a bed cap, you want things to be perfect. The other thing was the radius of the bed liner itself was not perfectly rounded. I mean, just take your time, you know, it's not that hard to do. The other thing is, I don't know if they waited too long to peel this up or they didn't get the tape down you know, sealed well enough. Didn't use frog tape maybe, uh, but the bed liner seeped underneath the tape line and made this little bit of a rough edge. Again, small nitpicky items, but you know, like I say, if you're spending thousands of dollars on something, you want it to be decent. So I'm not complaining. It's not something I'm gonna write a letter to my governor about, but still kind of annoying. Now my favorite item is, hold on one second.
favorite part is this guy here. Being able to have the dogs reach their heads through to the cab and still talk with us really. Very nice. It's great for ventilation as well. You know, one of our worries, especially being in the south, is having it be too hot back here. Now we can put some mobile coolers back here. We have fans back here. And of course we have these sliding windows that will open up. But being able to open this window, and it's quite a large opening. I could probably fit through there myself if I wanted to. Okay, not gonna happen. But having, it, having a big opening like this, and these side windows opened up, it's going to pull that air conditioning from the cab of the truck right back through here. Of course, you might lose a little bit here, but I'm actually going to make a seal uh, for the edges here so we can drive in the rain without having to worry about rain making its way in here with the windows open. Um, but again, it's gonna pull that air conditioning, that cool air from the cab right into the back of this truck. I'm sure it'll go out the windows, but at least it's going to be passing right by the dogs, keeping them nice and cool. This actually, this window slides, which I like, but it actually folds down as well. So you can wash the glass, you can wash the glass in the back of the cab, uh, and that's a nice feature. So you can get a, a window that just tilts, uh, you can get a window that just has the slider, uh, or you can get this combination. So uh, this is one of the better, better features here. Um, again, you can get the frameless side windows, uh, you can get the sliding windows without the screens. Um, you can get various options for the hatch and the dual knobs. There's a lot of things you can do that really bump it up. Let's talk about pricing here now that we've done a little bit of an overview. So, so I actually shopped around for bed caps for quite a while before pulling the trigger on this ARE. I looked at soft toppers for a budgetary for budgetary reasons. You know, they mount sort of on the inside of the bed rails and it just they just don't fit right and I just don't like them on the Titans. Some other really cool ones, kind of utilitarian style bed caps that I really liked a lot. Um, more 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 overland inspired and i think that made a lot of sense for me but they don't make them for the titan yet so that was a little bit annoying uh, so we kind of moved back into looking at lear or are looked at lears i was seeing those at four thousand five thousand dollars it was just really painful and it wasn't exactly what i wanted then i came across the airy overlander with the black uh, and i again i knew color matching the white was going to be tough and having that black trim around the outside would break those two colors up a little bit and make the difference a little bit less noticeable and it just made sense starting to look at the pricing uh, for a couple of the features that i wanted the sliding windows with the screen and the uh, slider window up at the front of the bed cap uh, it was going to come in around twenty eight hundred dollars not bad well, the $2,800 was a, an excellent estimate and actually included installation of 150 bucks. So, I mean, that was really hard to beat in my opinion. Every truck might be a little bit different and every, every supplier or vendor might be a little bit different too, depending on where you purchase this from. But for me in Anderson, South Carolina, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not even gonna recommend the place to be quite honest because I'll just leave it at that. But 150 bucks for installation, uh, $2,700 or $2,800, something like that total. Let's look at the sheet. So what they have you do actually is come in to take measurements and then you place the order for your bed cap uh, and you put a $1,500 deposit down or 50% deposit down. Um, I know I mentioned $2,800, but what I didn't mention is that when I went in there to make my $1,500 deposit and take notes, that's when I told them that I actually want to do the roof rack, which is 300 and something dollars extra. So it bumped us up to about 3,100 bucks and then uh, taxes was 209. Again, this 3,100 is with the roof rack, the track, the roof rack track, uh, that sliding window at the front and the sliding windows on the sides with the screen and installation. Uh, then they tack on 200 bucks for taxes. That gets us to a total of 3348 installed. Now, if you want to do this same bed cap as cheap as possible, you probably get it for 2,500 bucks or less. I mean, uh, you can get the very basic windows with no screen. You can get the very basic window up front with no sliding option. Um, but I, I think that gives you a kind of a good baseline of what to expect when you're shopping these ARE shells. And I think this is a, a, a great option to be quite honest. So aside from a couple of the minor quality issues, you know, some from because of ARE and some from the guys that installed it, uh, I really don't have complaints. I think for the money, this was a, a, a great choice by me. I mean, kudos, kudos to me for making such a great choice. <laughs> But if you guys want to stick around and subscribe and follow along, we got more stuff planned. We got uh, more updates coming for this Overland project for the truck and for the bed cap and what we got going on inside here and what we're going to be using this thing for. We got some excursions planned going forward now that the weather is getting to be a little bit more friendly for outdoor activities here in South Carolina. A lot more stuff coming for the channel. I hope you subscribe. I hope you follow along. We appreciate the support up to this point. We really, really do. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you in the next adventure.